Delayed justice makes it something other than justicenola.com. Some people responded to the news that Roland Bourgeois Jr. was sentenced to 10 years in prison for shooting three innocent black men in Algiers Point after Hurricane Katrina with the retort that he should have been sentenced to life in prison. In a weird way, according to Walter Martin, Supervisory Deputy U.S. Marshal in New Orleans, Bourgeois died of natural causes in Plaquemines Parish Prison February 19. Martin had notes, as frustrating as it was that it took almost five years after Bourgeois' hate-filled crimes for him to be charged and almost nine years after that for the case to come to a close, it's even more frustrating that he died less than a week after he was sentenced. On February 21 I wrote that was published on February 22. I was responding, questions about bourgeois health and his competency played a huge role in the case taking as long as it did to make its way through to completion. Those questions re- Bourgeois nearly killed Donald Harrington when he fired his shotgun. He hit Harrington, nobody there filed a report. Why? Was his story deemed, we know Harrington's story wasn't the only one that NOPD ignored. William Tanner called, that dead man's name was Henry Glover, and one might have assumed, but Harrington wasn't shot by police, and nothing he had to report implicated police. But the police didn't, when the story he told at the 4th district was ignored, Harrington said what had happened to him. What if somebody had? What if authorities, there's a chance that bourgeois could have been arrested, charged, tried far earlier and that he wouldn't have been sentenced to 10 years, 5 days before his end. Jarvis DeBerry is a columnist on the Latitude team at the Times Picayune. Latitude is a registration on or use of this site constitutes acceptance of our end. 2019 NOLA Media Group All rights reserved, apply to all content you upload or otherwise submit to this site. Drop, 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 drop,